Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in another episode of DNA Saturday, which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in DNA bombs. That was the great class we're going to be using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. If you guys would like, you can go back and pause the video, that way you can get a good look at the class. But keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I will be talking about the class setup throughout this video. And if you're looking to replicate this class 100%, you're probably going to have a tough time doing it because we're using the legendary SVO sniper rifle here in this gameplay. Therefore, it is the most rare version of the SVO in the game. So chances are you guys don't have it. It's definitely a very rare weapon. And I actually want to talk a little bit about the idea of legendary weapons in Call of Duty versus elites and professionals and enlisted and things like that. But before we get into that, I want to say this is the first DNA Saturday video to go up in a couple of weeks. I apologize for that because of course we had the Black Ops 3 beta. Then last weekend I was just more or less busy because of my brother's graduation party, which was long overdue, as well as my yearly fantasy football draft where we get people coming all the way from over from Ohio and people from around this area and we all go meet up in Erie and stuff. It was just kind of a busy weekend for me, so that was two weeks without DNA Saturday, which I'm sure was just painful for some of you, but DNA Saturday is back, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. This particular episode is being brought to you by Silent Ninja 2324 who is a returning guest here on the channel, bringing you this SVO legendary snipe rifle, almost marksman rifle style DNA bomb, and hopefully you guys will all sit back, relax, and enjoy that. So we're using a legendary, right? A legendary weapon in Call of Duty, which I think it's interesting how they basically did the different weapon tiers for Advanced Warfare. You look at the different kinds, there's Enlisted, for all intents and purposes, it's kind of like the common version, right? If you compare it to like Hearthstone cards or something like that, or you know, things of that nature. It's basically uh, the commons, right? They're not really hard to get. Most people have them, right? The enlisted are the commons. Then you have the professionals, which can, can be considered to be like the rares, right? Then you have the elites, which are like the really rares and really good. For the most part, the, the weapon balance, I suppose, scales a bit, depending on what kind of weapon it is. So, for example, I know this is not true for every single weapon, if you think of maybe, like, the ARX Hole Puncher being the best variant of the ARX, even though it's only professional. But for the most part, you have, like, the enlisted weapons, which are kind of like the worst ones. Like, they're usually better than the default one, in some cases. And then you have the professional ones, which are a little bit better. Then you have the elite ones, which are generally the best. And then you have legendary. You would think legendary would just be amazing, but really all they did with legendary weapons here in Advanced Warfare, I think, in an effort to keep things balanced, was they gave them slight minor upgrades and I think really they're just the most rare weapons in the game as compared to being the best weapons in the game I feel as though the legendary ones are just the most rare ones because you look at some of the really good variants that are out there you got your hole puncher right you got your mp11 goliath and then you look at some of the legendary ones you're like oh so this one gives you plus one accuracy and plus one handling whoa you know it's just it's not very good right that's what exactly what we actually have here with the SVO plus one accuracy plus one handling minus one to your mobility it's like that's not very legendary so what they did with the legendaries in this game was just basically making them the rarest weapons in the game, which I think they did that in an effort to keep things balanced. Like, you don't, you don't want to have a super powerful legendary weapon that is so hard to get that the few lucky people that do get it Right, those people just run rampant. Can you imagine like a legendary Ball 27 or something like that that had way better stats than the already good variants of the Ball 27 and how badly that would like balance things? Of course, they didn't want to do that. So they just made the legendaries kind of like the most uh, rare weapons in the game as compared to being the most powerful weapons in the game, which I think is definitely a good thing. But we're running around here with the SVO. Now we've talked about legendaries a little bit. The SVO, I want to say that a lot of you guys love the SVO. All right, a lot of you guys think it's the best sniper rifle in the game. And I believe statistically it is the best sniper rifle in the game. Feel free to correct me on that in the comment section below but for my money i hate this sniper i hate it because i'm bad with it if i were good with it i'm sure i would love it right because it's a it's a very iconic weapon in the call of duty series the dragon Ball was definitely featured in a lot of different games and of course you have these awesome iron sights which you see a lot of people actually doing that here with the svo they take it and they basically take off the scope which is like this russian scope that's a lot different than all the other scopes in the game which really throws me off personally so i actually opt out for the iron sights as well as i'm sure a lot of you guys do as well because whenever i die to an svo it's all Always an Iron Sights SVO, and it looks like the SVT-40 from World at War. I love that. It's also got like the same Iron Sights as like the most in that guy, like that circle sight. I really think it looks cool, but it's definitely one of the hardest weapons in the game to use. That's why I hate using it, because I'm so bad with it. So the SVO itself is... Oh, by definition, it's the, the marksman rifle of this game, right? If you take off the scope and you actually just put on the iron sights, this is a marksman rifle in that if you're very accurate with this thing, even with iron sights, it's going to be a one-hit kill. You hit them in that upper chest to head area, like that upper area, regardless of range, it's going to be a one-hit kill. It's a very powerful weapon. It's basically a weapon that doesn't have a scope, right? You just have very clean, beautiful iron sights, and if you're super accurate, you can get one-shot kills at any range. Thus, it's definitely going to be a marksman rifle at that point. You 
pretty much have to be a marksman to use this thing effectively because to balance things out they made it so it has a ton of recoil right it has a ton of kicks that make it so uh those follow-up shots are just very very hard to get which is my big problem with the weapon personally if i miss my first shot i find myself trying to spam it as if it were a semi-automatic rifle and they really don't want you doing that because of course it won't be very balanced because there's a lot of kick going on there so you kind of have to manage that a whole lot which we're seeing a lot of examples of that throughout this gameplay so i can definitely see why people like this sniper it's by far one of the best snipers in the game and the fact that you can have an iron sight sniper that has a one hit kill potential and if you like the scope that comes with it by default you know you can also like it then as well because it's semi-automatic it allows you to spray a little bit although the recoil is pretty unforgiving just for me man i cannot get good with this and i think the reason i don't like it honestly is just because i'm not good with it i think that's honestly my problem with it i can definitely see why a lot of you guys like to use it let's talk about the cray class here before the end of the gameplay because we are rapidly approaching our dna bomb we're using the svl legendary which is the return to center which is going to give it plus one accuracy plus one handling and minus one to its mobility the attachments we're going to be running iron sights obviously because sniper rifles have scopes by default and then we also have the adjustable stock making it so it's easier to strafe because of course you're going to be aiming down sights a lot with a unscoped sniper rifle along with extended mags basically to cut back on the reload slide spray and pray if you would need to in terms of perks we got lightweight which is just nice allows you to move around a little bit faster we have blind eye to keep you off the map from those score streaks we have toughness which i think toughness is essential on a weapon like this because if you're trying to get those follow up shots on there that already have a lot of recoil you don't want to have extra recoil by getting flinched you definitely don't want that that to happen as well as we have scavenger just because it's a very popular perk and maybe you just don't want to run out of ammo but that's the create class nothing too fancy with it just a lot of very good aim is what we're going to be seeing throughout the entirety of this gameplay and what you guys have been seeing so far but i think the biggest thing about the svo when i'm watching gameplay of it like right here is a good example of like trying to get those shots like sometimes you get a hit marker and it's so hard to get those follow-up shots like right now look at that he ends up picking up dna bomb it's so hard to get those follow-up shots, but this gun just reminds me so much of, like, an AK-47 from a Battlefield game. That's what it looks like to me. Like, it looks like a long version of an AK-47, which is kind of cool. Like, you look at all the different Russian weapons that have showed up in the Call of Duty franchise. They all kind of have, like, that same similar style to them because they're all, of course, Russian weapons, which I think is pretty cool. But here we are with the final score. 38 kills, 0 deaths, along with 2 assists, along with a DNA bomb running around with the legendary SVO. Well, thank you to Mr. Silent Ninja for submitting this gameplay. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of DNA Saturday and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel it be deserved and if you guys would like to submit your DNA bombs for next week's episode of DNA Saturday simply watch the video that's on your screen right now there's an annotation you guys can click as well as a link to it at the very bottom of the video description be sure to go ahead and check out that video it will tell you everything you would ever want to know about submitting your stuff for DNA Saturday if you guys would like to go ahead and check out Mr. Silent Ninja you can find him over at youtube.com slash the silent ninja 2324 he is actually just under 1500 subscribers at this moment he is a very good player. I definitely think you guys should check out some of his videos, especially if you're very interested in the Black Ops 3 beta. You just kind of want to see some stuff like that. He has a gameplay where he gets over 100 kills in Black Ops 3. He has a couple different nuclears using different weapons. He's recently gone off to college, so he's given some life stories, like explaining like his first college party, giving you a tour of his dorm room, as well as just in general, he's a very good player that puts a lot of time and effort into his YouTube channel. He's actually been featured a number of times here on DNA Saturday so far, and so chances are a lot of you guys have already checked out his channel, but if you haven't, I definitely recommend it. Go ahead and give him a look. He is somebody that spends a lot of time on his YouTube channel and definitely tries very, very hard at it. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of DNA Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.